Hi everyone, and hope you're all well. Welcome back to our channel, and in today's video we're going to delve into the mysterious world of 502 errors. Have you ever encountered a 502 bad gateway message while browsing the web? If you have, you're not alone. In this video we'll demystify what causes these errors and explore some tips to help you navigate around them. So let's jump right in. So starting off, what are 502 errors? A 502 error is an HTTP status code that indicates a bad gateway. It means that a server acting as a gateway or proxy received an invalid response from an upstream server while attempting to fulfill a client's request. In more simple terms, it's, a, it's like a bad connection error. It occurs when you're trying to visit a website, but the server that handles the website requests is having trouble communicating with another server, it depends on. It's similar to calling someone on the phone and getting a message saying, sorry, I couldn't connect you to the person you're trying to reach. In this case of a 502 error, you'll typically see a message like 502 bad gateway. So here's a breakdown of the common scenarios that cause a 502 error. The first one being server overload. So the server acting as a gateway or proxy may be overloaded or experiencing some high traffic, causing it to fail to receive a timely response from the upstream server. This can happen if the upstream server is unable to handle the number of requests it's receiving, so it kind of breaks down and loses the connection. Unreachable upstream server, and this basically means that the upstream server may be temporarily unavailable or unreachable. It could be due to server maintenance, network issues, or the server being down. If there is a misconfiguration in, pro in the proxy settings, such as the incorrect IP address or port numbers, it can result in a 502 error when trying to establish a connection with the upstream server. Problems with the domain name system, so the DNS configuration, can also lead to 502. And if the DNS cannot resolve the IP address, cannot resolve the IP address of the upstream server, the gateway or proxy server won't be able to establish a connection. And lastly, firewalls or security measures in place might just be blocking the communication between gateway and proxy server and the upstream server. This results in a 502 error. So while you can't directly control or prevent 502 errors on websites you don't manage, you can take a few steps to potentially avoid encountering them. First thing that you want to do is clear your browser cache, because cache data can sometimes interfere with, prop with proper website loading. Clearing your browser cache ensures that you're loading the latest version of the website and can help avoid potential conflicts. If you encounter a 502 error, try refreshing the page. It could be a temporary glitch and a simple refresh might resolve the issue. Ensure that your internet connection is stable and working properly, because unstable connections or network issues can occasionally trigger 502 errors. If you consistently encounter 502 errors on a specific browser or device, try accessing that website using a different browser or device. This can help determine if the issue is specific to your current setup. And sometimes 502 errors are temporary and they're caused by server overload or maintenance. Waiting for a little bit and then retrying the request can often resolve the issue. If you frequently encounter 502 errors on a particular website, it's best to reach out to the website's support team or administrator. They can investigate the issue and provide assistance or updates. Remember that 502 errors are typically server-side issues, so the responsibility for resolving them lies with the website administrators or web hosting providers. When you encounter a 502 error, you should try the following troubleshooting steps. You can always refresh the page as it could be a temporary issue. You want to check other websites and verify if the error occurs on multiple websites or just a specific one. And if it's a specific to a single website, it's likely an issue on their end. Clear, clearing your browser cache will help eliminate any cache data. And if the issue is due to server overload or temporary unavailability, waiting for a while and then retrying the request may resolve the error as well. And that's it, that's all about 502 errors. We've learned that a 502 bad gateway message indicates a communication problem between servers. And if you encounter a 502 error, try refreshing the page or clearing your browser cache or simply just waiting a little bit longer before retrying. I hope this video has been inform informative and helpful. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more tech related content and hit the notification bell to stay updated. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.